be watching out for the potential of a few bursts of light snow overnight tonight. Don't be surprised if some of you pick up a dusting of snow maybe on your driveway, your side streets by this time tomorrow morning. We'll be watching out for that and the dangerously cold conditions settling in. Again, wind chills between 15 and 30 degrees below zero as we're heading towards sunrise tomorrow morning. Let me show you a future scan picking up on that burst of snow overnight. This is going to fall while you're sleeping. I do not anticipate that you're going to be driving through snow as we're heading towards your morning commute for your Wednesday. But don't be surprised again if you do see a little bit of a snowflake activity, maybe on the shoulders of some of the roads as you're heading out tomorrow morning. The more significant story will be our temperatures. These will be our actual temperatures by this time tomorrow morning. Four degrees below zero in Maryville, one below in St. Joe. Single digits here in the city, not quite as bad over the extreme southern portion of our viewing area, but the majority of us under a wind chill advisory as we're heading towards sunrise tomorrow morning. We expect wind chills in the ballpark of 15 to 30 miles or 30 degrees below zero. With conditions like that, any exposed skin, your face, your fingers, even just your wrist, you can get frostbite in 30 minutes or less. And I would not be surprised if some of our school districts are keeping a close eye on conditions in terms of temperatures and wind chills for tomorrow morning. So we'll be watching that for you and that wind chill at Misery in effect for Kansas City, the bulk of our viewing area, all the way through Thursday morning. We're going to be dealing with similar conditions as we're heading towards the end of the work week as well. And temperatures will try to rebound Thursday afternoon into the middle 20s, but then another push of Arctic air to end the work week with highs in the teens. And also keeping on the potential of a few light snow showers to end the weekend on Sunday. So, certainly busy weather, Chris, here over the next several days.